Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show how can we use the train function to monitor the speed and the position of the axis. Using this trend or curve is very easy for us to monitor the performance. For example, we can monitor the acceleration, deceleration, or some very tiny positioning change from the axis. And this trend and curve function that come from the Studio 5000. This is a one built-in function from our project. All right, let me show how can we use that. So from here, right click, click here, click this new train. We can name it axis one monitor, okay? This train or curve sample period, probably we can use uh, 100 milliseconds or 500 milliseconds. For example, in this case, I can use 500 milliseconds, okay? From here, we can select the tag we want to monitor. So from this controller tag, let's expand, find out the virtual axis, and let's pick the actual position. Okay, this is the actual position here. Double click. And don't forget, click this add. And then let's select the next one. This actual velocity. Double click and click this add. So we add the actual position and the actual velocity. Click finish. Then we will create this uh, train. And from here, let's right click, click this uh, chart properties. To have a better wheel, let's set some miscellaneous setting here. So general, so this is the display chart here. And we are using the standard, no problem. Go to the display. By default, it's at the left. So I will prefer select at the bottom. So this legend will be at the bottom. Okay, we can leave others as a default, go to the pen, and we can set a different color for different variable. So for the actual position, we can select the green, and the actual velocity, we can select the red, okay? And to make this line clear, we can select the width at two or higher, so it make it clear. And because that is a curve, so the type would be analog and let's go to the right side and set the minimum and the maximum and for the velocity according to our case the maximum we can select 350 and our positioning we can set 5000 and the minimum we can set the minus 1000 Okay, this is the time span. So we will set the 60 seconds here. This entire X axis. So that will show one minute. Okay. Let's go to the Y axis. Since we set the maximum and minimum for each value from the previous table. So here I can select this preset. Also selecting this preset can allow our window always fixed, not dynamic. Sometimes it's easy to monitor the curve. And we will isolate these two values. Okay, click this uh, apply. Okay, click this apply, and then we will see the top, this area will show the position, and the bottom, this area will show the speed. So they will be isolated, okay? And basically we finish the setting. So let's quickly review, okay? And the sampling will select 500 milliseconds. And here, the more samples we select, the more archive data we will use, okay? So trigger, by default, we will manually trigger it. If we need to use another variable to trigger its record, so we can select the tag, okay? I will manually trigger it. So by default, we will select this, no trigger. Manually trigger this trend. Stop trigger, same thing. We can use the variable to trigger a stop or a start. Okay, this is an important setting especially for this y axis because those two variables they are using the different unit so the better way we need to use this preset and select this isolated graph okay and now to test this trend i will use this watch and grab some command here so let's go to the mc instruction and i will use the positioning one drag positioning two drag positioning three and 
drag this uh, positioning go home. Okay, this full command here. And here we can also monitor the actual position and actual velocity. Okay, and let's go back to the trend. Okay, so we finished the configuration. Let's download to the controller. Okay, we start this controller. Now this axis is at a zero. Okay, so now we click this run, start the trend. And once we see this line is running, that means this trend is archiving the data, is logging in the data. And let's trigger this positioning one. So let's set to one. So we can see the motion started. This is the position, this is speed. The speed is at 100. And we can click this one line and we can see the position and we can see the value. Okay, and if we need to look at the value, so we can click this uh, pause. For example, here, we need to check out when this speed is going to slow down. So at that time, where the position will be, that is a 1981. And when the speed is at a zero, so that time we reach 2000, this position. Okay, now if I release this pause, okay, and now this position is at 2000. Let's trigger a new command. So this command will drive this access to 5000 this position. Okay, and let's trigger this position three. Okay, the reason why the speed is not showing here, that's because we set a zero to 350. But when it's doing this way, the speed is minus 3000. So that's why the speed is not showing here. So we need to change this minimum here. So let's look at this. If I trigger this positioning tool, and before it's reached that position, and I will trigger the three. Let's look at this actual position. Okay. And in the meantime, let's right click, click this chart properties, and let's go to the pens. The minimum I will set minus 350 okay this position is a speed zero okay now let's test that uh, motion command execution command has an overlap basically the first one command haven't finished yet and then we trigger the next one if you recall that is the merge setting in our motion command instruction all right let's start use this uh, curve to check that and now let's trigger this precision tool first Okay, and I will trigger the precision three now. So as we can see, after we trigger the precision three, before before the precision two haven't reached that yet, so the three will override the previous command. So the motion will run the new speed. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, we could run this, move to the precisioning one. So Firstly, trigger it. Okay, it will towards to the 1000. And now if I trigger the three, boom, the new command will override. So the drive will go back to the minus 1000. So this new speed will override this previous speed setting. Okay, click this uh, pause. So using this trend, we can clearly see so at this position, where the speed is running, so we can troubleshoot our command and we can troubleshoot our motion performance. So it's really convenient using this train, okay? Basically, when we walk on site, we need to open this watch list, open this variable list, and watch this train. So we can troubleshoot our signal and troubleshoot the motion control. And after you finish the test, you can close this tab or click this save. So that allows you to save this train setting. So next time you can double click this train file and you can open that again and monitor the online variables. All right, that is the train or curve tools built in into this RS5000 or Studio 5000 software. 
That is a very common used tool or convenient tool when we're doing the on-site commissioning or test or do some analysis. Other than the motion command test, we can still use this tool to test our logic or some other variables. All right, that is for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.